right, beautiful people, welcome back to What's Cooking with Lola. Today, we're doing something different. Now, this is my first time trying this, but I thought I would share it with you guys, okay? But first, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give me a thumbs up, all right? So, let's get started with our chicken dinner tonight. I call this the pan-cooked herb chicken with mashed potatoes. So, we're going to get started and we're going to try it. All right, so we're gonna take our potatoes and we're going to put it in the water um, and bring that up to a boil until they are nice and soft. And I did put salt in that water, so salt your water generously. All right, so you avoid salting it when the potatoes are done. In the back, we go. All right, so now let's move on to our chicken. So I turned on my frying pan to try to get that hot. It should be waiting for us. It shouldn't be the other way around. So we're gonna go a couple of times around the frying pan with some olive oil. Yeah, that good old E-B-O-O. -O. Now, I have about four tablespoons of butter. I love these little things right here. It's about a fourth of a cup. So we're also going to put that in. And we're gonna start melting that down, okay? Now, come on over here and we're gonna get the season of this chicken. So, I have my bowl and I'm going to put my chicken legs in this bowl. This is where we're going to season this. up. There you go. Up. Oh, almost forgot. Hold on. I'm going to also put some olive oil on the chicken. And this is where I come in with all this good seasoning right here. Don't be scared. Season your chicken. Okay. We're about to mix this up. Let's try half. We're going to get that seasoning and olive oil rubbed on that chicken. Get up in there now. Get that skin back. And don't be scared to season your chicken. Now me, that's not enough. So, come back in. We're going to season some more. Okay. Voila. And again. Give your chicken a nice massage. The idea is to get the season in for the chicken. Okay? Looks about good. Alright. So we got our pan all ready for us. Let me just wash my hands and be right back. Okay, so now. That half of a small onion that we chopped, we're gonna put it in the frying pan. Now, I'm only gonna use about half of this garlic because I need some of this for my mashed potatoes. So let's put that in. And we're gonna save the rest. So we're yeah, gonna just let that cook down a little bit. Now I'm gonna add in the chicken. All right, so this is on about medium. We're going to cook this chicken until it is done, okay? So that's going to be about 15, 20 minutes. Come back at that time. 
see that. So, after 10 minutes, this is what the chicken should look like. I've been flipping it. You cook it just like you would regular fried chicken. Move it around. I always put my thicker pieces in the center. and butter and olive oil, got garlic and onions. Your garlic should not be burning. If your garlic is burning, you probably got the flame up too high. Turn it down. And again, this is after 10 minutes of frying. See you back in another 10. So after 25 minutes, this is what the chicken looks like. It is done. So I'm going to take it out and we're going to make some pan gravy. I'm also going to take out potatoes. They're done. Drain those. And I'm going to show you how I do my mashed potatoes as well. Alright, so there's that other fourth cup. Four tablespoons of butter we're going to put and melt into the hot pan. Okay? So that's the rest of the garlic that we put to the side. some pepper and although we already added the salt we're gonna add a little more now we're gonna mash them now you can add more butter if you want that's totally up to you cup of sour cream that I'm going to put in. And this is where we add our milk. I have about a cup here. Start off with a half a cup. I like more pepper, so I'm going to add in some more pepper. Again, to your taste, to your liking. Voila, mashed potatoes are done. So after all the chicken I took out and cooked down, I'm going to remove the seasoning and onions not all of it, but just the bulky part of it. We're gonna take that out, and we're just gonna use the rest of this for our gravy. I don't want that much in there, but the little straggly pieces that you see on the bottom there, we can use that. So, now back to the pan gravy. So, I took out some of the um, seasoning and the onion and garlic that was in the bottom of the pan it was just a lot didn't need all that so i cleaned it up a little bit and just scooped some out with a spoon so now i'm going to add in some flour 
all right? I have about a third cup of flour here that I'm going to put down in the uh, pan drippings here, followed by some chicken broth, okay? Let's see how this works. So now that I've got the flour all wind down, let's add in some chicken broth, okay? So I'm going to start with about a half a cup. So it comes to the consistency that I'm looking for. So I have about two cups. Looks like I probably end up using two cups. So right there, I use about what majority of it. And guess what? Oh, two cups. So we're going to bring this baby back up to a little bit of a boil. Mm. Add a little pepper. It's enough seasoning in this pan. We don't need no more. That's why I added a little pepper. Now, if you want your gravy to be thicker, use less chicken broth. Okay? It's a little bit thin, but I'm sure upon sitting off of the flame, this will thicken up a little bit more. So, two cups of chicken broth with about a third to a fourth cup of flour in your pan drippings. Voila, pan gravy. There it is, herb chicken with mashed potatoes and pan gravy, enjoy.